welcome to my kitchen. I'm Christina. If you're returning to my kitchen, welcome back. If you're here for the first time, welcome. And please make sure to subscribe for regular videos on recipe ideas for any day of the week. And also comment, I subscribed, and I'll make sure to personally respond to your comments. Today I'm making tomato basil soup. It's August and the beginning of tomato season. I visited my farmer's market and look at what I found. What kind of tomatoes are these? San Marzano. They're my favorite tomatoes ever. Beautiful. Yeah. That's right, I found San Marzano tomatoes. San Marzano tomatoes are highly regarded for their sweet flavor and low in acidity. They'll be the perfect addition to the soup today. The soup I'm making today is a fresh twist on the classic tomato soup, brimming with savory flavors of garlic and fresh basil and a little bit of heat from red pepper flakes. Perfect with garlic toast or my grown up version grilled cheese sandwich. I'll leave a link below to that recipe. So let's make it. I'll get started and show you the steps. Okay, so the first thing I did is I turned on my oven and it's at 400, so it's preheating. While that's getting ready, I'm going to take all my tomatoes, cut them in half, and then season them with olive oil, balsamic vinegar, a little bit of Italian seasoning, and get them ready to roast in the oven. I'm going to let these cool and move on to my next step. Okay, next I'm going to add about three tablespoons of olive oil in my pan. And then I'm going to add my onion that I pre-cut. I actually used my little chopper to do it quicker. And now I'm gonna let this saute for a few minutes on to my next step. I typically use a yellow onion, but um, I thought I had a yellow onion at home, but I didn't. I had red, and red will work just as well. So now I'm ready to add my tomatoes along with all their juice. And next, I am going to squeeze out all this wonderful garlic and place it in here. All right, stir all this well together. All right, so now I'm going to add my tomato paste that I already have pre-measured. 
Next, my chicken broth, three and a half cups. My bread. And my parsley and basil. Give it all a quick stir. Okay, next I'm going to cover it and let it simmer for 20 minutes, putting in my little foil just to prop my lid open so that the steam could escape. And I also want to turn my burner down to low, to a low simmer. All right, so while I'm waiting for my soup to finish cooking, I'm going to take my baguette and cut it in two pieces because I'm going to take the rest of this bread and roast it in the oven and make homemade croutons. Cut it into quarters about this size. Once this is all cut up, I am going to sprinkle it with olive oil, salt and pepper, and um, one of my favorite herbs, Herbs de Provence. Most grocery stores carry it. All right, so now I have my, my bread in my bowl, and I'm just gonna load it up with olive oil and sprinkle it with salt and pepper. And next, my Herbs de Provence. And Herbs de Provence is a nice blend mixture of fennel, thyme, rosemary, and lavender. Now I'm going to toss it and throw it on my sheet pan and bake it for about 10 to 15 minutes at 425. Giving it a quick toss. And this is a good time to add a little bit more, more of everything, salt and pepper and Okay, so I just tossed it all into my sheet pan and next it goes into the oven. All right, let's take a peek. So everything is nicely cooked. To finish it off, I'm going to add a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Mix it really well together. And the last thing I'm going to do is blend it. I'm going to do this in batches because, as you can imagine, this is quite hot. I'm ready to blend this, and just to be extra careful, I'm going to cover this so that nothing hot potentially will splatter on me. So I'm going to start it slow. Check the consistency. The recipe calls to puree the soup, um, but I, I, like to, I like it to have a little bit of body. So I am going to take this and put it aside and finish blending the rest of the soup. It's not very pretty at this stage, but after it's done and you're ready to serve it, I hope you like the flavor as much as I do. And the second batch, I do like to puree. All right, back in for my first batch. Give it a quick stir. Oh boy, what do you think of that? Is that great? Oh, that's the timer for my croutons. Lastly, I'm going to add my red pepper flakes. And that, of course, you can do to taste. I just added about uh, one fourth of a teaspoon because I'm not a big fan of a lot of heat. All right, and here are the croutons. Don't they look fantastic? I also like to serve it with these wonderful croutons. And uh, when you get a, a bite of that with the soup, Mmm, yummy. This is fantastic. 
I hope I've inspired you to give this recipe a try. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, share with a friend, and subscribe for more great recipe ideas. Thanks so much. See you next time.